So 2021 was the year of the Pixel. The Pixel 6 changed the game in terms of its beautiful redesign, and it honestly made me switch from the phone I was using for at least a few months. Fast forward to this year, and the Pixel 6 is still an awesome phone, but the Pixel 7 is set to release in a few months. So the question is, should you wait for it or just buy the Pixel 6? Well, let's go over what's to be expected on the Pixel 7. And basically, Google isn't going to reinvent the wheel with the Pixel 7 design, so expect it to look a lot similar to the Pixel 6. However, the processor is likely going to be upgraded to the second generation Google Tensor chip. And third, the display and camera is also going to be very similar to the Pixel 6. I would also go as far as saying the Pixel 6 will likely only be dropped in price by $100 to $150. Which brings me up to the point of, is waiting for the Pixel 7 worth it? Well, honestly, guys, I would say it's not. The Pixel 6 is still one of the best phones to use, and it's one of my favorites right now. And I'm actually going to pull up a quick overview we did of it just to show you how cool this device is. So let's take a look at it. So Google changed the game with the Pixel 6. In terms of design and build quality, it's easily the best phone they've ever released. However, you don't buy a phone just based on looks. You need to know how it performs on speed, video quality, battery life, and of course, phone photography. Now, what's most impressive about the Pixel 6 is that it checks the boxes on each one of those categories flawlessly. Now, the phone's got a 50 megapixel back camera that does more than get the job done in the phone photography department as you can see in my one example pick of my morning Starbucks. You can also record in 4K at 60 frames per second. Now, it's got a crazy good battery life. The phone's got a 4614 mAh non-removable battery, and it also comes with a 120 gigabytes of built-in storage. Now, the screen on this phone is also massive. It's got a 6.4 inch AMOLED display, which makes it great for watching video and playing games. As a matter of fact, I'm uh, gonna let a one minute clip play so you can see some of the video and sound quality. Then after that, I'm gonna play a couple of games. Of course, if you guys have any questions specifically about this phone, don't hesitate to message me below in the comments. But let's check out some of the performance. of England, lands they will never defend, never love, the time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand.
So bottom line, the Google Pixel 6 is not just a good phone, but it's actually worthy of switching from an iPhone or Samsung phone to get this one. Of course, I think it's going to be good at least for the next three plus years as well. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if you have any questions about the phone, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching it. We'll see you all in the next video.